Hey guys, welcome and today in this video we're going to be taking a look at an app from the iOS App Store that is going to work uh, with multiple devices and this is going to allow you to extend your display with an iPad. So this is a really cool uh, concept here so let's go ahead and take a look at the app and I'll just show you on the iPhone. Uh, it's called Duet Display so you can see right there. Uh, now the price is going to fluctuate. Uh, I've seen it as high as $15.99, $14.99, all the way down to some sale prices of like $9.99. Uh, but this is a very cool app, well worth the price because this is going to allow you to uh, use your iPad to extend the display of your, if you want to, your iPhone, your MacBook, MacBook Pro. Um, even a Microsoft Windows machine. You can actually extend your display of a Windows machine. We'll show you that one next, but the first one I want to show you is the, the MacBook. So this is the MacBook Retina uh, and this is the iPad Pro 9.7 inch and yes it's got a bridge keyboard case attached to it. That's why it looks like another PC or another MacBook here in the equation. So simply all you do is you download the app after you pay for it and from the iOS App Store to your iPad uh, and you launch it and it sits there and it waits for a connection um, to whatever you're going to hook this up to. Now you have to have your lightning cable because that's how everything works. So I've got my lightning cable plugged in from my iPad Pro to the Type-C, well I've got an adapter in here uh, it's, since it's USB 3.0 I've got an adapter so it's going into the Type-C uh, port of the MacBook here. So as you can see here this is where you would go to download the Mac, download the PC, the little agent that you have to install on your MacBook or your Windows machine. Once you do that, uh, you basically will launch the app. Now I'm going to go ahead and just double click it here so you can see it kind of resonates up here in your uh, upper bar and it says iPad connected for four minutes. So you can see my background on my Mac is now over here on the iPad. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so if I went ahead and just took my Safari uh, screen here and say just kind of, well, let's minimize it a little bit. Let's see. That's going to expand. So let's see if we can drag it over. Look at this. I'm taking my Safari from my MacBook and dragging it over to my iPad. And now I'm moving around on the iPad. So if I want to come over here and just click on this you can see I'm using my MacBook but I'm getting over here on the iPad and now I can come over here on my MacBook and I can launch Finder and I must have brought that up on this but I can drag that back over and now I have two screens so pretty darn cool uh, as you can see there's hardly any latency whatsoever if I just drag it look at that that is seamless and all this is is connected with a lightning cable using this app duet display between the two so that is really cool and I can come over here and I can hit the button and you can see here I'm interacting with Safari that's running on my MacBook on a touch screen over here I just go ahead and touch the picture and it came up here on the iPad uh, so I can use the touch display on the iPad and actually browse the internet uh, as you can see right here. Now not everything works, it's kind of based on a mouse so like you're scrolling and stuff as you can see uh, it doesn't quite work like it should but uh, if I just want to select stuff all I gotta do is hit the button on it and I can do that as you can see there. So pretty darn cool. Uh, now let's go ahead, um, you see I'm using the, the trackpad here and actually controlling it and I'm going to bring Safari back over Oops, and maybe if I can get Safari back over. It's kind of hard to do without a mouse. Uh, I'm very more mouse centric. Well, let's go ahead and quit Safari. And then see, boom. Now look, it comes back. Now I've got Finder still up over here. Uh, but if I click here, as you can see, I am back to my desktop. So a very nice way. Now I'm going to show you some features here real quick. If I just click this, so you can see I've got options and I'm going to go ahead and try to zoom in here if I can do that. There we go. 
Extend display. So I got regular re resolution. It's energy efficient. iPad Pro resolution, which is what I'm going to want. And I didn't select it, so that's probably why it looked a little bonkers. But we'll go back over to the iPad here in a minute. <clears throat> Retina resolution is high power. High resolution, smaller text. I can mirror the display. If I just want to mirror it, uh, say I'm doing a presentation or something and I want it on both screens, I could mirror it. Uh, frame rate is energy efficient at 30 frames per second, but I can turn it up to 60 frames per second on high power uh, and expect it to you know, use a lot more of my uh, juice here. And the pixel quality, I've got high quality and regular quality. And right now I'm using high power, uh, high quality. So let's go ahead and we'll zoom back out now that we've adjusted this for the iPad Pro and you can see if you see a difference here. So let's go ahead and bring Safari back up. And let's go ahead and there you go. And there is a little bit of a difference. It fits the screen a little better on the iPad, uh, as you can see. It's just kind of iPad driven now. And I can drag it back, drag it back over. Just like so. Seamless. That is awesome. And again, you've got a lot of different options. If I wanted to just mirror the screen, I can come here, click on this, this, and I'm just going to say mirror it. And you can see it adjusts it, and boom. We're just mirroring the screen. Everything you see on the left, you're going to see on the right. Totally cool stuff. I'm going to go back to iPad Pro resolution and not mirror it, just extend it. And as you can see, that's a pretty quick turnaround. All right, so let's go ahead and flip-flop this. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the Microsoft Surface Pro 3, and we're going to extend the display of the Surface Pro 3 onto the iPad. We'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. So we have the Surface Pro 3 all uh, set up here. And as you can see, I have two window screens. My iPad has a window screen. Is that not cool or what? So uh, if I use my mouse, you can see my mouse is now moving over here on my iPad. Uh, so if I wanted to like just bring up like uh, Chrome. So we're going to bring up a browser. I'm going to drag it across to my iPad. Look at that. Seamless. Even with a Windows machine, is that not awesome? So let's go ahead and look at our options on the Windows box. If I go ahead, uh, bring up Duet settings, let's go ahead and minimize Chrome. So frame rate is 60 frames per second. Uh, again, I can adjust that to 30. Performance is high power. The resolution is 1024 by 768. I can change that to 1536 by 1152, 1366 by 1024, or at a whopping 2048 by 1536. Uh, we'll just go ahead and leave it at that resolution uh, that it's at, at default. So go ahead and bring this back up. <clears throat> no, we don't want one note or clip. Let's see if we can bring that screen back up. There we go. Then you can check for updates, ask a question, yada, yada, yada. So, again, if I want to just drag that over, there we go. That's It is now on the iPad. Now, it looks like maybe I want to adjust the resolution because it's just not perfect on the iPad. So let's go to the uh, 1366 by 1024 on the iPad and see what we get. See what we get. Now let's drag it over. That looks a lot better. And we can actually even do it again. It's taking up another notch. 1156 or 1536 by 1132. We're adjusting the resolution. Let's go ahead and drag it over. A little bit smaller. That's probably a little too small. I don't like it that size. So I think my happy medium is the second one, which is 1366 by 1024. If I drag that now over on the iPad, it gets a little bit bigger, but it's a, nice to be able to see it uh, pretty darn easy. So let's go ahead and bring Chrome back into the picture and see how it looks when I drag it across to the iPad. And that's a lot more manageable. And let's see if I maximize the screen over here. Look, look at that. That just looks like it's on the iPad. Um, so let's go ahead. Can I just click with my, if I just click, look at that, interacting with the Windows machine with the iPad, just touch of the screen, awesome. And I'm using a mouse over here. So freak people out if you have this app. 
Uh, it'll look like you're running Windows on an iPad, and you got a mouse. I'm just using this little touch mouse here uh, that's wireless. It uh, is a Microsoft mouse, actually. I think it's the Arc mouse, uh, which is just awesome. I love that mouse. So anyway, guys, check it out in the App Store. I will have uh, information in the show notes uh, because this is just a totally cool app. Uh, I usually don't do app videos, but uh, I thought this one was well worth the uh, time and effort to demo it and show it off to you guys. And it's well worth the $15, $16 uh, that it's running in the App Store. You only download it once. Uh, so again, um, I've used it on the iPhone. Uh, I do have it on there. And again, you know, if I wanted to extend my Windows display to my iPhone, I could do it. In fact, let's just for chagrins, I'll come right back and I'll show you what it looks like. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Look at that. I have a Windows logo on my iPhone. Yeah. And look at this. I'm going to move this display settings onto my iPhone. This is from my Windows box. I'm using my mouse. There you go. Look at that. Is that not cool? Totally. I'm actually seeing, and I can bring my mouse. You can see my mouse on here. If I wanted to change stuff, my mouse is moving around on my iPhone. So, you know, maybe you want to like have a little uh, tiny screen mirrored off of your PC or your Mac. You can do that. There you go. Just like that. Windows on the iPhone. Pretty darn cool. Yes, it is. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one. Thank you.